what I'm about to do, I'm really sorry guys who haven't proposed to their partners, but it's really going to set the bar. So while Vanessa's really wondering what the hell is going on, This is a surprise. Play it. Vanessa is absolutely beautiful. She's, she's so naturally beautiful. The way she's been brought up has really made her who she is. She sees the beauty in a lot of things. You know, she'll see the good in a lot of things. For me, I just thought that from, from the get-go that she was someone that I thought was, was, a, was a, just a kind person. She complains all the time that I'm not very romantic, which is, is true, I'm not very romantic. But I always thought that if you wanted to do something like on, on, a, on a big occasion like this, you had to do it right. I wanted to make her think it, it, it was all, uh, you know, I wanted her to think that nothing was planned, but in reality, everything was planned. You know, this is not something that you plan within a month, you know, it's been a long time coming, and she won't realise until she sees the video. Like, she just, yeah, she, she won't have a clue. En route to JFK Airport. Yeah. Mohan's flight is on schedule. They're right now just entering New York over by Buffalo, it looks like. Recording? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Let's go get them. I got off the plane, I was so eager, I was like, you know, it's happening, this is the first stage of, the, of, this, of this big surprise, and, and you see this giant line, and you're just like, oh, damn. <laughs> I view New York as, as a place where you can really just rejuvenate, somewhere where you can um, maybe, you know, refresh yourself mentally, and the reason why we're here for so long, I mean, we're here for over three weeks and we're not going anywhere. People are like, why don't you go visit other parts of the States? Hey, how you doing? Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right this way. Do you need a hand? Oh, no, no, it's fine. Okay. But I just thought I want to become a local, you know, become a, a New Yorker, if you will, for the next couple of weeks so you can leave and breathe what, what more people do here on a, on, a, on a daily basis. All right. And you guys are at the, the New York edition. And I just thought, what better, what better way to, to get proposed here as well, because I know Vanessa loves New York too. And of course, we love it as tourists. What a New York welcome. Yeah, the white one? That's the car I'm following. So there's... there's this one right there? On the left, yeah. Yeah. There's no way we can follow it, right? They know that you're following? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the car, you might have seen, you know, Vanessa was in a really grumpy mood. She was in a really grumpy mood, so, you know, she probably won't like it, but, you know, I'm going to bring it up again. But she, I told her not to bring any fruit to, to, to the States, you know. She declared, you know, she wanted to be a, a good, good uh, global citizen, and she ticked yes. Oh, that, she, uh, had that she had lemons. Yeah, she had lemons. Well, New York has a lot of lemons. You yeah, sure? I'm sure there's a lot of apples here too. This is uh, one of the, the, the most progressive cities in the world. I'm sure they got fruit here, right? We didn't need to bring our own fruit from Melbourne. <laughs> all, 
all that changed when we checked in, you know, the ambience of the hotel, you, you see it and yeah, it was just, you know, you could see that, that that really was the turning point, you know, the holidays really begun. She won't know about this for another however long until the wedding is, it could be another year from when we proposed. Um, so it's sort of the, like the long con, if you will. Go on, lay your troubles down. Set your feet on solid ground. Peach deep is I have found. I want to follow you. Come There's Edison in place. Come round now if you can't hear me. Hope sick and got fear. I get across the street right now. They're going in the store. Are you gonna go in there? Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? The good thing is she didn't really, you know, kick up a stink about what we're doing today. But she wanted to go to Woodbury today. In my head, I'm like, oh, we can go tomorrow. I really want to go to Soho today because I really like Soho. Next stop, outside of. Juliana's. Donnell, they're right there, right next to you. I hope they don't see him. There's been elements of the trip so far where she thinks, man, why are you being so stubborn, you know? And we walked past Grand Central Station a few times the last couple of days, and she's like, oh, if you want to go, we'll just go now. I'm like, no, I don't want to go today. So hopefully when she sees all this, it's going to be forgiven. The engagement ring should be a symbol of, of my love to her and what I, think would, what I think would look really nice on her. So to cover all my bases, I, I've got three, three rings, three choices for her. And because she loves food, like she just loves fine dining. And I just thought what better way to do it than to mix the rings with food. There'll be cameras um, well hidden, hopefully. Um, and you know, it's going to be, everything's going to be, uh, be, be visual, if you will. When, when this happens, there's going to be a fake menu, and the fake menu is going to have three, three items on it. And each item is going to represent one of the particular rings. The menu will say something like, uh, you know, if, you, if this could be like the last meal you ever have here, and you can't have another meal, what would it be? So it's sort of saying like, you know, if you were to have something forever, what would you have? It's working. It's working. This is going to be good. I just know she's going to pick lobster. And when she picks lobster, and she opens this box, what's going to be revealed to her is this beautiful round diamond with two pear shaped sides. So, first choice. Well, then, pictures,
Hi, Auntie. Hi, Uncle. Hey, good morning. How are you, Mo? I just wanted to let everyone know, so uh, I'm, I'm about to propose to Vanessa. Okay. Um, and I just, I just wanted to inform the whole family at the same time. So do I have, uh, do I have uh, everyone's, uh, <laughs> everyone's consent, if you will? I promise to take care of your princess. I'm gonna go back into the room now. All right, bye everyone. Bye. 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 I think that's a yes, I have permission. This place is so romantic. Great place to get proposed to. Make sure those red are flashing. You're good. Right. You are rolling. Yeah, we are on. Showtime. All right, my man. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Let's fluff this up. Let's get pixie. This should be facing her. And this should be like this. And this should be like this. Hi then. I hope when you when you see this final edit and you see this message from me, I, I just want you to know that uh, hopefully this has you know met your expectations that a unromantic guy like me can pull off something like this. The chef who has prepared your lobster this evening asked that you remove the cloche. I, I really wanted you to know that um, you do mean the world to me, and and um, you know you're really going to be the love of my life and. You know, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you and, and to raise that little family that you and I always talk about. This is like legitimate. Excuse me, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about tourism? We're doing a piece on tourism. Oh, can I like tourists? Oh no, well are you tourists? Uh, yeah, okay, are. you totally blended. What brings you all to New York City? Um, a vacation and a surprise proposal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, congratulations. Yeah. I happened at dinner, it was a surprise. So I was like shocked. <laughs> I thought it was really magical, it was great. It was the most memorable trip of my life. I don't think she has any idea. And I've been trying to be a bit of an ass to her. She's been talking about our oh, engagement and stuff. Like she's been talking about it and I'm just like, oh no, I haven't thought of it. I've been so busy and engagement's you know, the last thing she, on my she's mind. She's brought it up to you? She's brought it up to me. And then she got she actually got a bit upset. She's like, oh, you haven't thought about it at all, you know? I'm I'm turning 30 soon and all this other kind of stuff, so. <laughs> Check it out. Look how innovative uh, they've got GoPro with security cameras. Yeah, it's insurance stuff. <laughs> There's no way. I mean, all of this? <laughs> that? The funny thing is, she's gonna think this is like the, the style of, our, of the states. We've all been wearing it. We've all been wearing it. Mm. <laughs> so she's gonna think that. It's Gucci darling.
Can you see anything if I do that? Uh, yeah. And I think New York's a place where anything's possible. Like, you can always expect the unexpected here. Part of the American dream, maybe. I don't know what, um, what it's going to be like to go back home after three weeks here. But I feel like three weeks here could change your life. Like, I really just think the way you think and everything like that, everything, just everything about this place, it's so, um, I feel like you'd be afraid of me. Huh? Hi Vanessa. Hi Mohan. It's me! He's actually not a waiter. <laughs> this is the beef and this is the parsnip. What's this one? That's the lobster. That was lobster. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Mark. That is correct. Not, from <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys have to be driven into Manhattan by the guy with the headgear. <laughs> oh boy. Are you rolling because Okay. No, I mean the... Oh oh they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Ready? <laughs> yep, in there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I ask your opinion on something? Do you do you like any of these shoes? Any of these shoes out of here? No. <laughs> no. I remember when I left the wedding, I um, I called Susie and I said, "Hey, do you know Vanessa Louie?" And and she's like, oh my God, yes, why? And I said, yeah, she's single. Susie's like, Mo, just be cool, okay, be cool, don't, you know, just be cool. No, so I had it on Facebook the next day and I think I just, I don't know, I just messaged her, try to be cool, I don't know, I can't remember. I really can't remember. Maybe it's because it's so embarrassing, I don't want to remember. We got, we got engaged. We got, we got you guys got engaged? I proposed. That's amazing, here, that, on your trip. Yeah. Vanessa, <laughs> I lied to you. <laughs> This is happening right now. And he's like, oh, as if you get engaged in New York, it's so cliche. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess it's not happening. You were so upset that it wasn't happening on this trip. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> Are you surprised? Send me a surprise because I was like, this couldn't have been a coincidence. Engaged in New York City. I know. It's crazy. It's like a movie. Yeah, like a movie. Very cliche. Like cliche. <laughs> <laughs>